Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up video to my last video where we picked out random classic stories and I reviewed them in a short amount of time. Today we're doing it again with new episodes, so like the modern series, so anything from 2005 to the present day. Um, I know it's basically Christmas now and this is not a Christmas video at all, so mm, how can I make this video a little bit more festive. Uh, I'll just look around my room. Here we go. We can have a little blue wreath to to match the bowl colour. There we go. That's your Christmas spirit from me. I'm joking. Well, actually, am I joking? Should we leave that there? Yeah, that looks all right. We'll leave it there. Um, I've also got my my lovely cup of tea with me, um, which is a Tom Baker mug. So it says, "Would you like a?" Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm showing you that. Should we just get on with the random reviews so then we can get on get on as many as possible? Yeah, let's just do it. Come on. Alright, um so yeah, this has every new Who episode in. Um hopefully I will be able to view them a bit more in detail than the last video. But here we go, we've got The Parting of the Ways. Oh what a good one to start with. So this is obviously this the finale to series one. Uh, Christopher Eccleston's regeneration story, and I really love it. It's a good story, actually. I prefer Bad Wolf, um, personally. I don't know if that's controversial or what, but it's still a very, very strong end to a brilliant series, actually. And um, I love The Ninth Doctor, so what can I say? It's really good, really good. Uh, we've got... Hell... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> What, what a weird one. It's another finale, this time the finale to series 9. Um, God, Hellbent. What can I say about Hellbent? You know, I really don't have any feelings on Hellbent. I really don't like how they brought Clara back. Um, actually, no, I don't, I don't like Hellbent. It's official, I don't like Hellbent. Um, at all, really. Thinking about it, it's just a bit of a, of a mess. Clara should have died and faced the raven, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, and that whole ending with the diner, I just didn't understand personally, but hey-ho. What have we got? Oh, wow. Vincent and the Doctor. Sorry, it's not focusing there. Vincent and the Doctor is one of my favourite stories of all time. It's from my favourite series of all time, and it is so amazing. I remember watching this when it first came out when I was very quite young, actually. And um, it was just absolutely amazing. It's not really Doctor Who. Um, obviously it is, but it's not the sort of route that Doctor Who would go down. But on this occasion, I think it's absolutely fabulous. And I can't fault it, really. It's pretty m much perfect. And I remember watching it in the watch long um, that we did this year. And I'm thinking, wow, what an amazing story. And I wish we could have episodes like this now. Uh, taking another dip into the bowl. What have we got? We've got some interesting episodes so far. Um, ooh! Planet of the Dead. So this uh, is a special that was towards the end of David Tennant's era. And I don't really know what people think of this story. It doesn't get talked about as much as it should. But I'll be honest with you. I absolutely love this story. Um, I think it's such, such fun. Um, one of my favourite characters of all time is in it which is Malcolm. I think his name's Malcolm. I really hope his name's Malcolm now that I've said that. Um, the guy, the sciencey guy, it's just so, so cool. Um, I've met a couple of the cast from that episode as well, and it was apparently really difficult but fun to film, and I don't blame them. It just, it's so cool. I love it. No one's ever going to change my mind. I think it's such a cool episode, and it's one that I show people actually um, often when I try to get them into Doctor Who, because it's simple but effective. Uh, or oh, another of the dead, Forest of the Dead, which I believe is the two-parter in the library, so I'll just talk about that as a whole, um, because I can't be that specific, but I really enjoy this two-parter, um, a solid one that I can put on, usually, um, I used to be really scared of this episode, actually, it was one of the last tenants, um, that I watched, purely because of the fact that I was scared, um, and this was when I was, like, seven or six or something, um, but obviously it's a great story now, I'm I'm not too keen on the whole subplot with um, the Doctor Moon and the girl. I reckon if this was simply just a base under siege library with the Vash Generada, I reckon that would have been a, next to perfect episode for me. Um, I know it's 
integral to the plot and stuff. But personally, that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah. Come on, let's get some Capaldi, maybe. I want a bit of Capaldi to review. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Orphan 55. I have a lot to say on this episode. Right, so I don't hate this episode as much as people do, okay? Hear me out. Um, this episode is actually a very fun romp for me. I enjoy it. Um, it's it's not Jodie's best performance-wise. Um, I mean, it's far from amazing i'd give it about a six seven out of ten but i really don't hate it as much as some people do the one thing i cannot stand and i think we can all agree on this is the message at the end where jodie might as well just look at the camera and say save the planet or whatever that annoys me that does annoy me um but apart from that i don't understand the hate that it really gets benny is iconic that woman is very annoying but i think it's funny and the dregs look brilliant actually um yeah not a not a half bad episode it's just half bad really what have we got next oh here we go saying a bit more festive for y'all a christmas carol um i'll be honest i don't think i've watched this episode in about eight years um but as it's christmas eve 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 at the moment um i might stick it on later <laughs> uh, that's all i can really say i remember it not being bad i mean it's from series five technically which is good because it's my favorite season ever so hmm yeah it's an interesting one um but one that i cannot comment on because i haven't watched it in like eight years so sorry about that uh ooh. Ooh, brilliant deep breath uh yeah a perfect opener in my opinion a perfect introduction to peter capaldi it's my sort of era so the sort of victorian era my doctor capaldi the pattern not pat uh, pattern i think that's how you say it brilliant as per usual i wish they would come back um because i personally love them just an all-round brilliant episode you know it's one of the longest episodes so it's kind of like a mini movie in a way but there's not a dull moment in it and i could happily watch this all day <laughs> we'll do a few more uh oh here's an interesting one sorry pick it up the Lazarus experiment um yeah it's pretty average to be honest I don't love it at all it's not one of <laughs> an all-time classic by any means but again it's not one I go to and go oh the Lazarus I can't stand it it's just sort of there really um it's an okay episode I haven't watched it in a while maybe I will soon I don't know it's a pretty basic episode in my opinion not bad though enjoyable enough uh, we've got, oh, here's a good one, Oxygen, Oxygen, uh, yeah, from series 10, which is my second favourite series ever, and yeah, I love it, it's a perfect base under siege story, with some great action, it's just very, very solid, and <laughs> I don't know why anyone wouldn't love this story, personally, I think it's got some great concepts, Bill's good in it, Nardo's good in it, um, some iconic moments, and the Doctor goes blind, so... Yeah, very solid episode. I remember actually not liking it when it first went out um, a few years ago, but it's grown over me um, over time, I think. Another Capaldi now, we have uh, The Robot of Sherwood. Uh, pretty dull, pretty basic in my opinion, not a very enjoyable episode. It's just sort of there. It's not one that I go to very often um, at all, really. It's just sort of average. It's a very 5 out of 10 episode. Oh, oh, the God Complex. Sorry, that's not focusing. Um, I remember when this one went out in 2011. I actually remember watching it at the time, which is rare for the Matt Smith episode, because I know I did watch them, um, but I don't remember half of them. But I do remember watching this one. And I remember saying the week before, oh, I reckon this episode is going to be one of the scariest of all time. I wouldn't say it's the scariest of all time. I would say it's pretty scary in some aspects pretty brutal episode actually some of the side cast get killed off and that's quite shocking actually because they're not the sort of cast that you think would get killed off but hey ho um but yeah really good episode i love the setting in the hotel and how each room has a different nightmare for all uh there's the main cast matt smith is brilliant in it um i think it's just the ending that gets me the sort of i don't know there's something about the ending that just doesn't sit right with me but 
as an episode, it's really good and enjoyable, and I can stick it on whenever. Uh, we'll do one more, one more, shall we? Let's end on a high. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> this is not a high, in my opinion, anyway. Listen. Can't stand listen. It's really annoying. Every Danny Pink, or whatever his name is, I don't understand what's going on. It's very pointless, in my opinion. There's probably something that I don't understand. It tries to be creepy, and it's just not, in my opinion. Um, I think in the Doctor Who magazine, one of the moments... I think number one, they did, like, a... With the scariest moments in Doctor Who poll, and the clip, um, a clip from Listen actually came first, which I pretend I did not see, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't like Listen. I never will like Listen. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, have a brilliant Christmas, um, wherever in the country or in the world you may be. Um, please leave in the comments below what you think of some of these episodes. I'd love to know. You know, do you agree with some of my opinions? Do you disagree with my opinions? I'd love to know. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll be with you, hopefully, on Boxing Day, so not that long of a way, for a Christmas haul update thing. So, yeah, bye for now.